my name is Aisha Doggett. I'm so happy to be here with you today. It's our 39th day of prayer. We have one more day left. I cannot believe it. Let's take a look at God's holiness today. In Exodus 3 verse 5, it says, Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Now, I want you to begin to meditate on God's holiness. In Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 3, it says, They were calling out to each other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of heaven's armies. The whole earth is filled with his glory. Now thank him for his holiness. Thank him for who he is. Moses got to experience firsthand the holiness of God. When he experienced him, he was in the wilderness, and it was years and years after he had fled Egypt. He found God at a burning bush. As Moses was approaching this bush, God spoke to him, and he said, the verse found in Exodus 3 verse 5, take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. And in his holiness, and in his righteousness, he gave Moses a task. He tasked him with freeing the Israelites because, you know, as they had been abused and been mistreated and beaten by the Egyptians. So he wanted Moses to go and set them free. Now, Moses, he didn't say, okay, God, yay, that's my mission. Here I go. Me and you. Woohoo. No, actually in the um, New Living Translation, it says that Moses protested God. He protested, like he's like, oh, excuse me, uh, how am I supposed to do this? How many times do we protest against the things that God is trying to do in our lives? Sometimes we go kicking and screaming, even though we know what, that God knows what's best for us, right? Think about a mom in the grocery store, and maybe that mom, has been you before. When you're in the grocery store and your child is screaming about, you know, give me this, I want that, um, get me and fill in the blank, okay? And this child is, you know, isn't seeing that. This grocery trip is not just for him, right? This grocery trip is for the whole family, number one, and number two, the mom, you are in control of the trip. And if he would ask nicely, you know, if he would um, listen, then maybe th there would be some things that he could get along the way. Hey mom, how about some of those Cheerios over there? You know, what do you think about that? <laughs> the language of a two-year-old, that would be amazing, right? Me as a preschool teacher. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just telling you guys, in God's holiness, we have to respect who he is. He is holy and he is righteous. He is guiding you and he is leading you. But along the ride, it's easy to protest just like Moses did. It's easy to demand things from God when you want something or you don't want something. But God is telling you he is holy. He is righteous. And ultimately he is in control. Trust him today with your life. He won't let you down. So our first challenge today is worship God for who he is, acknowledge how holy he is, and meditate on his greatness. And the second challenge today is enjoy the ride. Let God lead you. Ask, but know that your life is in his hands. Relax. The creator of the universe is your father and he has got you covered. Let's pray. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we thank you for your holiness. We acknowledge how holy you are and we know that you are in control of our lives. We thank you for that and we're trusting you. Help us not to demand along the way. Help us to ask and know that you know what's best, Lord. We love you for who you are, and we thank you for loving us. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. <laughs> it's a little sad. 
Tomorrow's her last day. But I love you guys so much. And